They finally done it. Arlo has released a home security system. Widely known for their premium home security camera systems, Arlo has now released a home security alarm system. So what is this all about? What does the system get right? What does it miss? And how does it stack up to the other DIY home security brands? Well, stick around to find out. So here it is, the Arlo home security system. And the first thing I noticed was how minimal it is. You basically have a multifunctional keypad hub here, which controls the system. And you get two all-in-one Arlo sensors. Now note that this is the smaller bundle with just the two sensors. They have a larger bundle with, I think, five. And then you can also just build a custom system if you'd like. In a lot of ways, this system reminds me of the old Nest Secure alarm system from years back. And that was a really cool design. This design has even more functionality. It's a do-it-yourself installation with the Arlo system. There's no drilling required. The only wire is the wire for the hub. So that really sticks with the minimal vibe. But I wanna go into detail with both of these devices, the keypad hub and the all-in-one sensors because they're pretty cool. The keypad hub has all the arming and panic buttons that you'd expect, as well as a siren. But it can also detect motion, smoke alarms, and carbon monoxide alarms. And the siren can sound when any of these sensors are triggered. The all-in-one sensors have eight functions, so let's go through those quickly. Door and window access, motion, tilt, water, temperature, light, smoke alarm, and carbon monoxide alarm. Note that any single sensor can be customized to detect multiple things. So for example, your door sensor can tell you when it's open, but also when a smoke alarm sounds or when the temperature gets too low. So you're not limited in detection combinations to say the least. And in my testing, I was really impressed by how quickly I received notifications when the sensors detected something. I mean, it was nearly instantaneously. The other big headline with the Arlo Home Security System is the no contract 24 seven professional monitoring. Their monitoring plan, which is called Arlo Safe and Secure Pro and costs $24.99 per month at the time of this video at least. And among other things, ensures that security professionals monitoring your system around the clock can take action whenever an alarm is triggered in your space, requesting emergency services for you if needed. I'll note that this professional monitoring pricing is comparable to other DIY systems. Think Simply Safe or ADT Self Setup. Now, a subscription is not required to use the Arlo Home Security System, but note that if you don't subscribe, you're going to be giving up a lot of functionality and features, most notably professional monitoring. And if you do decide to self-monitor, know that you are the one that's responsible for taking action when any sort of event happens in your space. Nobody's calling the emergency services for you. So what's it like using the Arlo home security system? Well, generally I found it to be a good experience. The sensors detected the specific things they were supposed to when they were supposed to. The alarm also triggered when it was supposed to, and it was as unpleasantly loud as I hoped it would be. Most of the time you'll use the Arlo app, it's called Arlo Secure, to interface with the system, but sometimes you'll go analog and just use the keypad hub. You can arm and disarm right there, there's a panic button, and one-touch contacts to police, fire, and medical. And if you want more of like a command center field, you can use the Arlo web portal to control much of the system, which I really liked. I found the Arlo app to be powerful, but a little overwhelming, especially since settings tend to live all over the place. I'd give it a day or two of exploring and testing just to get really comfortable with the layout. That's how long it took me. If you have other Arlo security devices like the Arlo 5S 2K home security camera or the Arlo Essential Video Doorbell, they integrate really well with the system. For example, they can all sound a siren when the system alarm is triggered. And yeah, it's definitely a deterrent. The app is organized into several tabs. In the feed tab, you can see a detailed event history of everything that's taken place and filter for event type or date. In the emergency tab, you can quickly activate the siren or you can request emergency services to your space. In the modes tab, you can control the behavior of your Arlo home security system and all of your other Arlo devices. So you have three modes, you have arm home, arm away, and standby. And you can customize the device rules for each of these modes. 
For example, in standby, maybe you don't want your sensors detecting motion and sending you notifications. No problem, you can set up a rule for that. Building these custom rules for each device in each mode, you can get the exact actions that you want from each device in each situation, all by simply changing the modes. So customization is definitely a theme with the Arlo home security system, but it does require that you have a good idea of what you want or need in your home security experience, and it will probably require a time investment on your end to perfect that. Alternatively, if you find this whole process a bit overwhelming or you're just not that interested in it, I would check out a different system, maybe one that offers professional installation so you can have the pros handle it for you. Speaking of which, if you do want to learn more about different home security system options, home security cameras, digital security, head on over to security.org. We have a ton of different resources there, guides, reviews, best subs, all to help keep you well informed. Uh, go check it out. The links are in the description below. Lastly, I wanted to note one strange element with the Arlo home security system compared to a lot of the other home security systems out there is that this cellular and battery backup is not built into the hub itself. Cellular and battery backup is actually an add-on piece of hardware that attaches to the bottom of the keypad hub. This allows you to keep your system online and powered for a period of time when your power or Wi-Fi goes out. This type of add-on piece of hardware for cellular and battery backup isn't the norm in the home security world. For example, Simply Safe, Vivint, and many other home security systems, they all have the cellular backup and battery backup built right into the hub itself. So the extra hardware from Arlo that costs $79.99 retail, that's how much it cost at the time of this video. And also note that if you want that to work, it also needs to have a subscription to Arlo's professional monitoring. So something to consider. So let's wrap it up with the Arlo home security system. The most basic bundle starts off at $199.99 and goes up from there as you add sensors, as you add that cellular and battery backup, as you add video doorbells or additional security cameras. If you're already an Arlo person, if you have Arlo cameras, I can see a strong case for you investing in this system. We're talking a few bucks more to upgrade to that Arlo Safe and Secure Pro subscription. Let's say two to $300 more for their equipment. And then you have like this sort of full home security ecosystem with Arlo. I mean, for me, it was quite responsive. I appreciated the unique design of it and the peace of mind it provided from all the different smart detections was just great. However, if you're not already invested in Arlo, I could see you going in a different direction. There are plenty of other home security options out there. Some are less expensive. Some have a lot more experience when it comes to professional monitoring. So it all comes down to your personal preference. Overall, I was really impressed with this first generation Arlo home security system. I'm excited to see where they take this next. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to the end of today's video. Give us a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and be sure to head on over to security.org to find all the resources that you need for home and digital security. We got some great links below, check it out. We'll see you in the next video.